if I'm trying to figure out my pricing, what are some, maybe some biggest challenges that you've seen or biggest mistakes that people make whenever trying to set the price for the first time? It's a great question. I think when it comes to the SaaS pricing, most executives think that what you charge will determine your success. In fact, who and how you charge determines your success. So going back to what I was talking about before, understanding the segment that you're going after, where can we compete and win is critical. And then when you're thinking about how you're charging, right? We didn't get too far into the, the packaging discussion, but everything from your pricing metric, your monetization model. So is that subscription or pay as you go or perpetual license to your uh, potential price fences to uh, your different uh, offer configurations or bundles. Those have an outsized impact on your success. Everyone, when they think about the pricing world, they immediately think about the price level. Is this a hundred dollars user? Is it a hundred and ten dollars user? Is it ninety dollars user? Is it ninety nine ninety five? Those that question is important, but it's at the end of the process. It's probably the easiest to change, especially if you're in a B two B. You're going to have your discounting, so there's some amount of individualization of, of prices that individual customers will pay anyway. There's way too much emphasis put on that versus understanding who you're charging and how you're charging. Now, you said uh, a phrase I hadn't heard of before, pricing fences. Is that just your pricing constraints? So a price fence is how do we charge two different customers different amounts for the same product? You see this all the time. If you take the bus, uh, you know, I pay one amount, a student pays another amount, a senior citizen pays another amount. If I go see a movie on the uh, Friday at noon, the matinee, I'm going to pay a different price than I pay at, you know, 6 or 7 p.m. because everyone yeah. wants to go see, you know. So so those would be a price fence based upon uh, identity, you know, student discount, veterans discount, senior discount versus a, a time-based fence, which is the, you know, the matinee version. And then what you most commonly see in the B2B SaaS world is what would be like a volume-based discount. So if I buy one seat of a software license, the price per seat I pay if I buy 100 is going to be less. The, I, the product's still the same, but the, the per unit discount changes. So oftentimes it may also be referred to as the, the pricing structure. So that'd be the price fence.